All right, Tony, thank you. We've been talking about it all week. Gusty east winds are in the forecast for this upcoming weekend, and that means a big increase in fire danger. Power companies and firefighters are now doing what they can to get ahead of any potential dangers. Fox News' Anna Katayama joins us now live this morning with more on this story. Anna, good morning. Good morning. Yeah, this doesn't happen very often, but both PGE and Pacific Power say they are increasingly likely to call for public safety power outages, not just in rural areas, but in urban areas as well. We're at a shopping complex just off of Barnes Road in northwest Portland, and neighborhoods close to here could be affected. Now, we have a map to show you, and if you take a look at it, the areas that are shaded in blue show neighborhoods that may be affected by the power shutoff. The utility will monitor conditions and estimates the power shutoff could be called on Friday morning and could last through to Saturday night. Now, the situation is similar for Pacific Power. Beginning tomorrow, the utility says it may shut off power to sections of Staten, Lebanon, Sweet Home, Lincoln City, and Glide. The power companies will be monitoring fire risk and, of course, will keep you posted on any decisions that they may make. Now, the gusty, dry east winds are also raising concerns today for eastern Lane County. That's where the Cedar Creek fire is burning, about 15 miles east of Oak Ridge. Oak Ridge residents say they're used to wildfires because they are in the middle of the Willamette National Forest, but the last few years have been more concerning. Steve Saxon says the fires have been more intense and more frequent. Because of this, he and his neighbors are always living in a level one evacuation order mindset. It's a constant worry living in this town, and um, you just have to be prepared. You have to have a go back just in case. You get a level three, you got to be gone. To help prepare for the east wind event, fire officials say they've created more western fire lines, and they are going to have crews out tomorrow night and Saturday night to keep an eye on those fire lines. Now, throughout the morning today, we'll keep an uh, eye on the possibility of the power shutoffs in the urban area as well as rural and we'll let you know as soon as we hear a decision from PGE or Pacific Power. Live in Northwest Portland, Anna Katayama, Fox 12 Oregon. All right, Anna, thank you. If you are in an area at risk of losing power, now is the time to make sure you have an outage kit ready. Like Anna said, those outages could last up to two days. So here is what you need to have just in case of a power outage. You'll want food and water, of course, supplies to last you at least three days, a battery-operated light, emergency medical supplies, fresh batteries and power banks, and anything you may need for your pet.